Summertown and Loretto battle once again on the baseball diamond. Loretto softball takes on a district rival in Giles County, plus the UNA baseball team was back in action. It's coming up next on Exports Tonight. From the Exports Network, this is Exports Tonight. Welcome to Exports Tonight. I'm AJ Good. Starting things off with high school baseball, where game two of the series between Summertown and Loretto went down tonight. The two were battling a Gary Lamb film, tried to, to repeat the instant classic they had from a night ago. Game two between the Mustangs and Summertown from Gary Lamfield tonight. Here in the bottom of the first, Caden Porter. He's going to come on down and score off a wild pitch, giving the Mustangs a one to nothing lead. Bottom of the second, two on for Grayson Burleson. He's going to strike out Porter here to end the inning. Top of the third, two on for Carter Daniel. He's going to strike out Burleson here to end the frame. Bottom of the fourth, bases loaded, and Keegan McCafferty is going to strike out Porter here on the breaking ball to end the inning. Bottom of the fifth, two on McCafferty. Going to Strike out Finn Duke here to end the inning. Top of the six, bases loaded here, and Daniel is going to get Jackson Bennett here to fly out to right. That would end the inning. Bottom of the six now with Mason Tidwell standing on third. The pickoff throw. It's going to get over Grayson Burleson's head. That would go in the left field. Tidwell will score. That gives Loretto a two to nothing lead. Now top of the seventh, Daniel. It's going to get Kurt Burleson here to pop up to end the inning. Daniel would go the distance, giving up one hit and striking out 10 as the Mustangs go on to win this one, two to nothing. And the Lawrence County baseball team was edged at home by Marshall County in district play two to one. Up next, they'll have the Summertown on Wednesday. First pitch will be at 3.30. Coming up next, we head on over to high school softball where Loretto looks to stay hot against Giles County. Hit a home run with the team at United Country Southern Tennessee Realty. On the web, 931-321-8226. Tommy Johnson, 931-722-4840. Tyler Webb, 731-438-2084. Travis Caldwell's 931-629-3033. You're safe with United Country Southern Tennessee Realty. Are you tired of missing out on family life just to be treated like another truck number? Since 1986, Southeast Cares has been a family-operated business based in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. Being family-owned ourselves, we understand the importance of family, which is why we value it above all else. With our large number of dedicated lanes and our friendly staff, we are able to evenly divide your home time with the amount of time you spend on the road. We offer multiple benefits with large company pay, all while keeping a small company environment. For more information, visit our website at southeastcares.com or check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Story and Lee, the Tennessee Valley's most dynamic furniture store, featuring our Made in America galleries with solid wood dining and bedrooms, leather furniture, mattresses, and so much more. You want it? We've got it. With our three acres of showroom and our huge warehouse, we're sure to have exactly what you want. And it's all ready to be delivered to your home absolutely free. Just try that anywhere else. We are Story and Lee. It's time for some straight talk about zero turn mowers. Husqvarna Zero Turn Performance Mowers with rugged commercial drive give you high performance and a comfortable ride. Heavy duty frame and chassis, commercial hydraulics take no punishment. With warranties now up to five years and low financing options, there's no competition. For a straight up deal on the best in professional zero turn mowers, go straight to your Husqvarna dealer. From the Exports Network, this is Exports Tonight. Welcome back to Exports Tonight. Now over to high school softball where Loretta was back at home once again. This time taking on one of the best in their district in Giles County, looking to keep their hot streak alive. Second game between the Lady Bobcats and the Lady Mustangs this season. Bottom of the first down, two to nothing. J.B. Clifton with the tapper back to the picture. Aubrey Rizel would come on down the score, come the Bobcat lead, the two to one. It's Emily Cozart here with a grounder to third. That brings home Briley Dover, tying the game up at two. Bottom of the fourth now, down five to two. It's Breely Winters. She's going to reach base here on an error at first. Cam Hanson would score, but the Lady Mustangs would eventually fall in this one, 15 to three. Summertown was on the road at Columbia Academy tonight here in the top of the first. Hand and Lindsay going to line a single here into center. That would bring home Erica Abbott, giving the Lady Eagles a one to nothing lead. Still in the top of the first is Anna Burleson 
Here with a single up the middle, that would score Lindsay from second. Summertown now ahead two to nothing. We move ahead to the top of the third. It's Lindsay again, going to line another single into center. That scores Abbott again, and the lead is now out to three to nothing. Top of the fifth, up three to one. Lindsay this time going to lay down a sack bunt. That would score Abbott, giving them a four to one lead. Top of the six, one on for Greenlee Taylor. She sends a two run shot over the fence in left center. The Lady Eagles go on to win this one, six to one. From the X Sports Network, this is the North Alabama Report, presented by First Class Charter. Now heading over to college baseball where the North Alabama Lions are looking to get back on the right track on the road at Murray State. Second game between the Lions and the Racers this season here in the top of the second 2-1 for Jackson Ferrigno. He sends a deep shot here over the fence in the left, a three-run homer, and the Lions lead this one early, 3 to nothing. Now to the top of the third, 2-1 for Cal Cook. He sends a deep fly ball here into left. That's going to bounce and hop over the fence for a ground rule double. Scores Andrew Knight extended the lead, the 4 to nothing. Top of the fourth, now up 4-1. to one. It's Garrick Free. Here with a single in to right, that brings home Kyle Mikado. The line lead is now out the 5-1. to one. Top of the fifth now, 2-1 for Mikado. He's up at the plate, lining a single here in to left. That brings home Levi Jensen, North Alabama, now up 6-1. to one. Then it's Knight, here with a single in to left. That would bring home Ferrigno, giving them a 7-1 to one lead, but Murray State would come back big in this one and take it 8-7. to seven. That does it for Exports tonight. Have a great evening. We'll see you guys once again tomorrow. This is the X Sports Network.